We're starting off with a quick warm up. Let's start with hip hikes. Time to switch sides. We've got side leg raises next. About 3 seconds. Side leg raises. Tighten the quad of that raised leg, to keep it as active and straight as possible. We've got squat swipes next. 3, 2, 1. Squat swipes. Change up those swipes to start from front to back, then reverse to work those muscles from all angles. Next one's toe tap lunges. Last few seconds. Toe tap lunges. Shift that weight on that bent leg as you reach down, try to use the other leg just for support. That was the last one of our warm-up. Next, we're starting into our first exercise group with circle toe taps. Circle toe taps. Stay in control the whole time, don't let that leg move just with inertia. Switch sides. Use those core muscles to keep your hips facing down in front. Last seconds. Quick break, try to take deep breaths. We're gonna switch to bridge march next. Bridge march. Your range of motion on this one's not gonna be big, that's okay. Half point. Keep it going. About 3 seconds. Back to that active rest, keep moving. We're gonna switch to circle toe taps next. Circle toe taps. Try to draw nice circles in the air, doesn't matter if you can't get that leg up high. Time to switch sides. About 3 seconds. Active rest, recover as best as you can. Next one's bridge march. 
Bridge March The tricky part with this one is to keep your balance, while keeping your hips up in the air. This is our half point. Keep pushing through. Last seconds. Quick break, try to take deep breaths. We're gonna do circle toe taps next. Circle toe taps. Keep pressing down from your shoulders into your palms to find stability. Time to switch sides. About 3 seconds. Quick break, try to take deep breaths. Doing bridge march next. Bridge march. Make small, controlled steps up in the air, focus on keeping those hips as stationary as you can. Halfway done. Do your best. Couple seconds left. Back to that active rest, keep moving. Doing circle toe taps next. Circle toe taps. Switch to the other side. Couple seconds left. Quick break, try to take deep breaths. Next one's bridge march. Bridge march. If you feel your feet starting to move forward, bring them back under your hips to stay nice and stable. Halfway through. Just a bit longer. Last few seconds. Quick break, try to take deep breaths. Doing plank hip dips next. 
plank hip dips. Keep squeezing your abs, but don't stop breathing. This is our half point. Keep pushing through. Couple seconds left. Active rest, take a short little break. Next one's tabletop bridge holds. Tabletop bridge holds. Those shoulders are very vulnerable in this position, so check they're rotated correctly, out to the sides, there definitely should be no tension or pain. This is our half point. Keep pushing through. Couple seconds left. Quick break, try to take deep breaths. Next one's plank hip dips. Plank hip dips. Twist nicely from the waist to really feel it in those obliques. Half point. Keep it going. Last few seconds. Active rest, take a short little break. We're gonna do tabletop bridge holds next. Tabletop bridge holds. For an extra challenge, squeeze a ball or pillow between your legs to work those inner thighs. Half point. Keep it going. Last few seconds. Active rest, don't stop moving. We're gonna switch to plank hip dips next. Plank hip dips. Check that your lower back stays active, we don't want it sagging. Halfway done. Do your best. Last seconds. Back to that active rest, keep moving. We're gonna switch to tabletop bridge holds next. 
Tabletop Bridge Holds Balance your weight by keeping your weight in those heels. Halfway, keep it going. Last seconds. Back to that active rest, keep moving. We're gonna do plank hip dips next. Plank hip dips. To really activate those shoulders, spread your fingers and grab onto the floor. Halfway through. Just a bit longer. Three, two, one. Active rest, take a short little break. We're gonna switch to tabletop bridge holds next. One more, and we just have a cool down to do. At the top, squeeze those abs and glutes tight, to keep those hips in a nice parallel line off the ground. Halfway, keep it going. Three, two, one. That was our last interval for today, just need to get our cool down done. We're gonna switch to wide lever stretch next. Let's get right into our cool down. Starting off with wide lever stretch. This is our half point. Keep pushing through. Couple seconds left. Mint over hip circles. Try to get a good range of motion on those circles. Halfway done. Do your best. Three, two, one. Upward dog pose. Keep your legs active, flex those quads and glutes. Half point. Keep it going. About three seconds. Knee circles. Brace those abs, keep that lower back nice and flat. Half point. Keep it going. Good job, you're all done for today. Hope you liked it.